hello, my name is Bethan Lysett and I write some rhyming children's books. You may have seen some of them before or this may be the first time you've ever seen one of them. And today I'm going to read you the story of Noah's Ark. And I decided to read this one because I think there's quite a few things that are quite similar to what you might be experiencing at the moment. One of the things that I love in this book, Noah's Ark, is the rainbow. Now, you've got to keep an eye out for a rainbow. And you might see that I've got some on my jumper as well, because I love rainbows. Another thing that I love is bees. And when we're reading through the book, you've got to see if you can keep an eye out for some bees. So bees and rainbows. Now, the other thing about this story is that if you've ever heard it before, Noah and his family go into an ark, which is like a big boat, for a long time. And it might feel like you have been in your house for a long time. I feel like I've been in my house for a long time now. But just like in the story, our houses are the safest place to be at the moment. And Noah's Ark was the safest place for him to be as well. So as we go through the story, keep an eye out for some rainbows, some bees, and see if you can listen out to see how long Noah stayed on board the ark, okay? One day, Mr. Penguin was out for his swim when suddenly he heard God was talking to him. Call Mrs. Penguin, pack up before dark and find Mr. Noah who's making an ark. An ark, said the penguin, but what could that be? God said, it's a boat that he's building for me. Everyone but Noah is up to no good, so I have decided to send a world flood. Off went the penguins and after a while, they met Mr and Mrs Crocodile. Mr Crocodile said God had talked to him too and asked what the penguins thought they should do. I think we should join up. I saw in a dream. We'll find Noah together. Oh, what a great team. A large group of sheep were walking ahead. Fourteen in total, but out they all spread. Penguin asked God, why fourteen and not two? God answered, they're different. I need more than of you. After the time you will spend on the sea, then they will be food and an offering to me. The little group travelled for day after day picking up many more friends on the way. Finally, the animals arrived at the ark. Noah was pleased as the sky had turned dark. No pushing or shoving, there's room for you all. No animal too big and no insect too small. God's chosen you all for the plan he has made. Now into the ark and don't be afraid. Pitter and patter rain started to fall away from the door mr noah did call the waters rose quickly and covered the land but inside was safe just like god had planned for 40 whole days and 40 whole nights the rain came down and no end was in sight but noah and his sons took such special care of all of the animals sheltering there. For almost a year they all stayed on board. All that they needed Noah had stored. Finally one day the ark came to rest on top of the mountain God had thought best. How would they know if the land was all dry? They needed an animal, one that could fly. All the birds gathered at Noah's request and Noah picked Raven to seek out a nest. Raven just flew about over the sea. Next Noah sent Dove and he found a small tree. When Dove went out later he never came back so Noah then knew it was time to unpack. The door was swung open, the land was now dry. The animals were leaving and saying goodbye. Then God, he blessed Noah and put him in charge of all of the animals, tiny 
and large. God promised that never again would there be a flood over all the earth and the sea. To help us remember the promise God made, he sent us a rainbow so we won't be afraid. God made a way for Noah to be saved on the ark and God has made a way for us to be saved through Jesus dying on the cross. One day Jesus will come and judge the world and those who have asked Jesus to forgive them for the wrong things they have done will have a new start with him which can never be spoiled in heaven. In the Bible in 1 John 4 verse 14 it says we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the Father sent his Son to be the Saviour of the world. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. It is one of my favourites. And I'm just going to pray now for us all. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have given us the rainbow as a symbol of hope, that you do not break your promises. And Lord, we thank you that when you died on the cross, you secured for us a place in heaven for all those who put their trust in you. And we thank you now for all that you do for us each day. Amen. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you have a lovely Easter.